Hi there. I'm standing here today with my special guest, Justine, from iJustine.tv. And in case you don't already know, Justine is a big time vlogger. And I didn't even know what that meant because I don't know anything about technology, but Justine is a big techie, which is pretty hot because she's pretty hot. You wouldn't necessarily <laughs> think that she was a techie. I would think that she was more of a, a cook or a chef, but evidently, rumor has it, Justine doesn't know how to cook anything. I can't, but I can make a grilled cheese. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, good. Well, next time we'll do uh, a cheese panini. Oh, that sounds delicious. With like a brie or gruyere, we'll kick it up a little bit. <laughs> Today, Justine is going to make an impressive and more importantly, easy arugula salad. So, do you know what arugula is? No, what is that? Okay. Arugula is a very spicy green, and you see how it has a bright color? Mm -hmm. You want to eat foods that have bright color. If, it, if it's natural and it's a bright color, like a blueberry or a tomato, then it's antioxidants and it's good for you. Mm -hmm. So it's not that romaine or iceberg are bad for you, but the brighter the color, the more healthy it is for you. Okay. So, and you can get arugula in any supermarket, and you are really into technology and you probably have a fast paced life. You can buy this pre made, pre washed in like those plastic boxes or in That's those great. bags. That's great. awesome. So this is really easy. And these are pear tomatoes, and as well, you can buy these in containers. They're just, they're actually really good. They're like candy, eating them alone. They're delicious. Uh, so let's get started. Okay. Let me get you a platter. I'm gonna have you do this. Oh okay. boy, let's yeah. do this. Okay, so there's, put that down. Okay, so here's some arugula. I'm gonna have you just take the tongs or your hands and put a couple of bunches okay. on the, you can use your hands because they're just clean. Just like this? Yeah. Just, make, just right there. Yeah, just a little more. That's going to be for more. you and um, your significant other or a girlfriend. Steve Jobs. Oh, that's, yes, well, actually. Steven, this is going to be for you. Okay, well, Steven, we will make this for you, and I will show you the point where it goes out of the vegan world, because Steve, jo Steve Jobs is a vegan. He is. So first, what I'm going to have you do, let me get this stuff out of the way, okay, is take these Little little baby cutting board, little beginner's cutting board for you. Okay, take these and cut them in half lengthwise, right. just like that. So put your hands on either side and cut them in half lengthwise, and then scatter them. I think that I can do that. I think you can do that too. All right, here we go. Cutting. I believe it. Yeah. Look, okay. Did you so, see that? Yes. So do like four more of those. All right. With cooking, you really have to get a feel for it. When I was in culinary school, there were 16 people in my class, and we would each do the same recipe and it would come out 16 different ways. So I want you to get a feel for what it looks like. So basically, I mean, you eat with your eyes and there's a couple of different colors, a lot of antioxidants. This is healthy, it's bright in color. Okay, now the next step is, well, I'm gonna do the cheese last because we're gonna okay. make the Steve Job salad and All then we're right. gonna make the I Justine salad. Okay, these are pine nuts. I've already toasted them, but what you do is you just sprinkle them into a pan and you put them on low. And just until you see a little brown color, it brings out the nuttiness. It's just nice to have a little warm nuttiness on top of the salad. It's another texture, it's another taste, and it's a little bit of protein. So Steve Jobs definitely eats nuts, and he definitely would need some protein if he's not having any, uh, if he's not having any cheese in a salad. All right. So these are already toasted. You can let them cool, or you can put them on warm. Oh, actually, go ahead. Oh, here so we just, go. Yeah, so just sprinkle a handful all over the salad. A few more, you think? Yeah. All right. Well, that's what you think. It's your salad. Okay, that's good. Then you like them a little more. Okay, always a little salt and pepper. You have to season your food because it won't taste like anything. Oh, here. Oh, like this that. is this is real. Stuff. You have to. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, Not move it around. Move it around. Okay, is that good? that's good. Yep. These are good because it actually grinds mm -hmm. them while it's going. You don't want to just have the little. Do you have the salt and pepper shakers that say salt and pepper you got in your first apartment? I don't even that's have good. any salt or pepper shakers. Okay, now this is going to be the trick with the olive oil. Take your finger. Okay. And I'll show you. Just do a little drizzle. I like to make everything low fat, so do that. Do a little, hold your finger there and then just okay. let it go a little bit for the drizzle. Oh, there yeah, we go. There yeah, that's good. Good. That's exactly okay. right. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. There really aren't any mis big mistakes. Okay. Now, this is, oh no, this is the most important part. This is a lemon. Usually when it's closed, you roll it around so you get mm -hmm. it soft. And then I'm gonna have you do this. Take your one hand like this, squeeze it over so the seeds will okay. get caught Just in your like hand, this. not on the salad, and then go around in a circle. There, so there yeah. we go. Okay, and there it is. That's it. You, and yeah, and you put the olive oil on, right? Oh, you we did, did that. Yes. Okay, perfect. Then the other thing, which is a nice little sort of gourmet addition, which is truffle oil. Do you know truffles are like an exotic type mushroom type food, and they have a very intense flavor. Mm -hmm. And at a dinner party, it's very impressive to to 
Just put a lit, the tiniest bit, just so there's a few bits of flavor of truffle. Now that's the Steve Jobs salad. And he, who, to tell everyone who Steve Jobs is. Well, he's the CEO and founder of Apple, and he is vegan. Right, so in case you didn't know who he was, who I didn't know until I found out that he was a vegan. <laughs> uh, this, is for, this is for you, Steve. Uh, for the rest of us, we're gonna make it with some Parmesan. So here's the thing, you can buy this already grated or shredded. Mm -hmm. Once a food is already broken down and shredded, it loses most of its flavor, just like you're not supposed to buy garlic already made. Mm -hmm. And this, I mean, how long does this take? You buy a chunk of Parmigian, Parmigian Reggiano, Parmigiana Reggiano, and just, there, oh. This is a small piece, and you just grate little bits. And it's great, it's got a nutty flavor. And then for the lazy person, doesn't mean you can't be involved if you really don't have the time, buy the shredded cheese. There it is, and it's nice. You can, doesn't mean if it's a little messy, it's still delicious. That looks really okay. good. Okay, now, taste. You made it. I made this. Get a whole bite of everything, Parmesan, everything. Oh, that's a big bite. Okay. It is really good. Good, right? Good. This is the easy, impressive arugula salad. Even a techie can make it. It's delicious. Can you email me this recipe? Absolutely. Perfect. And you'll, you'll put it on up on your... Uh... Yeah, you know what I could do? So that I don't mess this up, I can put the video that we just shot right on my iPhone and go step by step. Okay, perfect. Absolutely. You're an iPhone girl. I'm a Blackberry girl. I got it. I got it. I got to represent. We're like at war here. We are. Battling. Dark and blonde. Blackberry <laughs> and iP an iPhone. Hey, you can cook. I'll make you a website. All right, perfect. perfect. Excellent. Thank you.